decent corn. It's pretty good corn, but it's kind of dry for silage. But we were still doing hay, so we still are, but we needed this tractor for hay, so couldn't sort of silage so now, but that's just kind of the way it is, I guess. Going in one of those little corn puller in things, things that goes around and pulls the corn in, fell off, but we got it. It was in the head, so good thing it didn't go through there at the chopper, but we'll run across the road to the shed and get it hopefully put back on, but I guess we'll see. The corn's pretty dry. It's really too dry, but what do you do? Well, it's another day now. Um, just got these things lock tight it in because we've been having this thing right here uh what is it this blade thing whatever not a blade but this puller that pulls the corn in been having it fall off so i got some loctite put on there now we're gonna give it a little time to set up and then go chop corn hopefully and hopefully they stay on so that's what i'm doing i'm underneath the corn head right now so but i we'll guess we'll give her a shot fuel put in the chopper while i'm waiting on people to help me chop so but i'll walk over here and show you the truck is uh we had a guy uh family friend do the metal work on that tailgate all that and it has a grain door too so we should be able to haul grain with this truck now but that turned out pretty nice so uh and then the boards we got from the lumber yard there it goes these ones that fit together with the seams so that worked pretty nice uh, these big pins for the tailgate to open for silage so yeah it turned out pretty nice uh, we put those big tall plywood on the side so the chopper can blow against them because it's pretty tall for that but we could have taken some off this side but just didn't so but yeah there's a silage hauling machine works pretty nice for that but yeah we obviously kept the other sides for hauling manure and dirt and stuff because that's what we use this truck for but those uh they just go in here in these holes and then a bolt right there to hold them on so yep pile so far it's not as big as we'd like it for yesterday but i mean you'll have days like that uh this is probably some of the driest corn we've ever chopped uh pretty dry there's i mean there's spots with moisture in it but i mean this is dry for corn silage but like i said we were busy doing hay when it was ready to drop and other stuff so that's the deal behind that but there's enough moisture in it it'll make decent feed so good enough for us got a load chop and the chopper broke again so we just one road it to finish that load but I don't know what we'll end up doing with the chopper. Dad's gonna come look at it, but whatever. The pile is still the same size in the end of the day. Um, as you can see, it doesn't have a head on it. But, because that's right there, taken apart. Because this piece keeps breaking the bolts off. So we got to take them to town to a shop and get them out and hopefully redrill and good and go tomorrow so that's why it's like that but hopefully tomorrow's a better day we'll see though but nice night tonight just got three loads done and now it's pretty dark out so we'll call her there the truck doesn't have very good lights you see back there getting low but yeah uh, the second row still ain't working, so we just sped the tractor up and pretty much fly with it, going one row, and it'll eat it pretty good. So, I mean, we ain't really, really being that much less efficient, but we've got a different used head coming tomorrow from Missouri, so I think we'll just slap that on there and give that a try, because this one we can't get it figured out. But, yeah, at least we got three loads done tonight, honey. That's not much, but it's more than we had been all day, I guess. So, there's truck lights. Here to uh, get it started again this morning, chopping. Uh, hopefully, it runs good for us today, and that'd be nice. But 
Got a nice heavy dew, so hopefully get some moisture on that corn and get it put in the pile, preferably with moisture, because it's really, really dry right now. But whatever. This big girl started. Back up on concrete, check some bolts, be good to go. Then some loads pushed and packed. Uh, got everything full and then the truck again, so we have like six or seven loads here, but well, not in the pile, there's a lot more than that in there, but handy, ready to go for this morning. But now I'll jump in this tractor and get that packed down. And Gordon has two more loads to bring me to dump that are already loaded, so get that done. Girls want to work, so that's good. side of the field so in we go run over a little bit but that's all right here we go should be about to the end i think but i guess we'll see yeah we're running over three rows of corn but hopefully i get around and get some of it picked up but there's really no good way of opening this up other than this so It's all right, and there's the end. Dump a load. Pack down. You gotta pack it down so the air gets out of it so you don't have it spoil on you. That's why you see people packing it. 